Over here, over here. So I thank everybody today who made it through for the, first, the start of the public inquiry. Today was uh, difficult today, but the family are grateful that they have had the opportunity to pay tribute to Shekubayo, a much loved son, brother, uncle, and father. The family placed their trust seven years ago in the PERC, the independent investigation, and for the Crown Office to deliver justice. Well, that trust was betrayed when five years later they were told by the Lord Advocate that not a single police officer, nor Police Scotland, would face charges despite the evidence they had seen. Police officers had requested undertakings, but evidence they gave in this inquiry would not be used against them in any future prosecution. This was refused by the Solicitor General. There should be no impunity for those found to be involved in any criminality, misconduct or impropriety. As for the nine officers, retired PC Alan Payton, retired PC Nicole Short, PCs Ashley Tomlinson, Craig Walker, Daniel Gibson, Kaylee Good, Sergeant Scott Maxwell, James McDonough, Alan Smith, the family say, if these officers have nothing to hide, then they have nothing to fear from coming and giving full and frank testimony to the inquiry. Sheku's family have waited a very long time to hear the truth, and that is the very least they are entitled to. The family are grateful to the Chief Constable, who met with the family today following the inquiry, and showed empathy and paid their, his condolences to them. As Police Scotland has publicly stated, police officers are expected to come to this inquiry, to fulfil their duty as officers, and to speak with candour and to tell the truth. We are always told that justice is colour blind, but this inquiry must not be blind to the issue of colour because although Sheku was unarmed, his family believe his skin colour was treated as a weapon as he met overwhelming force. Sheku's loved ones demand that this public inquiry delivers the truth, is fearless and is impartial. But in the end, the real test of this inquiry will not be the sympathy expressed for a family who have conducted themselves throughout with utmost dignity, but whether this country acts to ensure that real change takes place in an unaccountable, all-powerful justice system. This inquiry must be prepared to go, where no inquiry has gone before. Whilst for some it has been easy to scapegoat Police Scotland, for the family, the ultimate betrayal was at the hands of the perp that was supposed to investigate the police and the Crown Office who failed to bring charges against any of the officers. Sheku's mother, Amanata, has said that Sheku is not by any means the first man to die in police custody. But if anything, she hopes that Sheku's name does not fade from memory and one day the name, one day the name of Sheku leaves a legacy that his children can be proud of. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. We hope you're here tomorrow. We hope you're in the weeks ahead and in the, the next year to two years that this inquiry will take. Thank you. Thank you.